Being a tech guy, I've always wanted to get in on bleeding edge technology, but it's always been so expensive in the thousands of dollars. So I was very excited when I saw that Silicon Dust started a Kickstarter for the 4K HDR, and I knew I had to get in on it when it was only $200. So let's see what's in the box. Well, the first thing we notice is the size difference even in the box. Let's go ahead and open this up. And we get a nice instruction card. Being a tech guy, we'll just throw that to the side. And then we can see the unit is definitely much smaller than the original. We get the power cable, a Cat 5E cable, and there's the commemorative coin for the Kickstarter. That's nice. Now as instructed, we need to update the firmware when we receive the unit. So we're going to go to silicon dust slash support slash downloads. Under information, there's HD Home Run Beta Release. We're going to download and install HD Home Run Windows Beta Installer. Now I'm sure you know how to download and install software, so I'm not going to bore you with that. We've installed it under Windows, Program File, Silicon Dust, HD Home Run. And if we open up the HD Home Run Config EXE, we could see the four tuners listed. So we're going to click on the tuner, and we're going to update the firmware. Go to Firmware Upgrade, Install, and Reboot. Now when it reboots, it's going to throw an error because it's disconnected from the network wait a minute and then restart the GUI program. Now when we click on the tuner we see there's no firmware update. Going to close that and go to hdhomerunsetup.exe. We can see that it has found the old tuners that we used but there's the new one. We're going to go to Digital Antenna, make sure the new one's selected, and click Scan to do a channel scan. Now that the scan's complete, we could look down through the list of the local channels of mine that it's found. I'm going to hit apply. I'm going to close that and open up the config GUI again. Now I'll select a local channel and if I click view we'll see it open up in VLC player. Since the physical channel is 8 VSB 24, I do not believe our local stations are broadcasting in ATC 3.0 yet. If you go to atsc.org slash nextgentv slash deployments, we can see each announced target market in dark blue. We'll transition to readying broadcasts in light blue and then on the air with ATSC 3.0 in orange. Nick has stated that the first goal was to be able to view channels. As ATSC 3.0 grows, they'll enable more features in future firmware updates.